Sup guys, how's it going? It's your boy Nasser324. Uh, today we have a brand new video. It's about my uh, winter upgrade predictions. As I said, this is a prediction. This is not an official um, uh, upgrade list. This is simply a uh, prediction by me. And uh, I'm thinking about doing this a series, do three, four more episodes. But only if this one does well. And guys, anyways, let's go ahead and start with the first three players. First up, we have Virgil van Dijk. In my opinion, one of the most deserved upgrades of the year. This guy is so underrated. At the start of FIFA, he should already have have had like an 81, 82 rated uh, uh, FIFA card. But he only got a 79. And that's why I think he deserves an upgrade to an 82. He's had an amazing season last season with the Saints. He's having a great season this season. <laughs> And it's pretty, pretty probable that he's going to go to a big club next season. Uh, maybe um, Chelsea, Man City. And to be honest, this guy really deserves an upgrade. And as a Saints fan, it's a bit biased. But a lot of guys actually consider this guy the most consistent defender in the, in the league. So he definitely deserves an upgrade. Next, we have Dele Alli. In my opinion, one of the best English uh, players and one of the best English talents in the last few years. He is simply phenomenal. He just plays amazing. He got interest from Real Madrid, this kid. In my opinion, he deserves an upgrade to an 83. Maybe next next season he's going to be... Sorry, next FIFA is going to be like an 84. And I just think him and Eriksen in that midfield really tear everything apart. And even if they, when they play as more of an attacking role, he still does very well. And I just think he's a complete midfielder. He plays very well. And I do think he deserves this upgrade. Next, we have Falcao. Falcao was kind of forgotten um, uh, back when he was in Man United and Chelsea. He, he simply didn't do as well. And um, a lot of people thought it was over. Falcao was never going to be the Atletico Madrid Falcao. But this season, he's proving everybody wrong. He's playing amazing. He's got like 18 goals in like 23 games. I'm not sure about that, uh, like exactly how much, but he's got a lot of goals. And uh, he's simply back. Uh, Monaco have the best attack um, this season, statistically, this season. He, they have more goals than Barcelona, Barcelona so that's... That's something to put in mind. So Falcao has been really, really good. And he's been really important for Monaco this season. Next, we have Moussa Dembele. Not the Chelsea one, the Celtic French striker one. He's doing amazing with Celtic. He has like double-digit goals. He's like, I think he's one of the top scorers in his uh, league. And he's doing fantastic. I really wish he would come to, to Southampton. I do wish he would. But he's not. He's doing great at Celtic under uh, Brendan Rodgers. And I do hope he continues this amazing form. He's an amazing talent. And in a few years, he's going to be in a very good club. Um, uh, to be honest, I think he should be a gold. By now, a 75 gold. But I do not think EA will upgrade him that much. So I, I'm predicting him, him to be a 74 rated silver. Next, we have Mertens. I think he should be upgraded from an 83 to an 85. This guy has been phenomenal. One point in this in the season, he got like seven goals in two uh, games, which is fucking phenomenal. That's like Messi and Ronaldo numbers, uh, and he's been amazing. Um, a lot, and basically, he's being used as a Milic um, uh, uh, goals, like in the Milic. Milic was his, uh, was the top scorer for Napoli. He was scoring a lot of goals, but then he got injured and and. Uh, Everybody was looking at Mertens to, to fill the gap and score goals, and he's done that. He's been amazing um, uh, for Napoli, and I think he's like one of the top scorers in the Serie A. So I do think he will get upgraded to an 85, and his card will be insane, in my opinion. Next, we have Diego Costa, in my opinion, one of the best strikers in the world, and probably one of the best or even the best striker this season. He's doing fantastic with Chelsea. And I just watched a few games. And under Conte, he's been a phenomenal striker. He's always been great. But under Conte, he's just something else. He's doing fantastic. As is the whole Chelsea team, to be honest. But in my opinion, uh, he has to be one of the best players uh, this season. And he does deserve an upgrade to an 87. Next, we have Harry Kane. In my opinion, one of the best English strikers. Um, in the last few years, he simply a lot of people said, "No, this guy's a one-season wonder. This guy won't do as well as he did last season." 
and he just proved everybody wrong. He's having one of his best seasons. He's scoring a lot of goals, and I, I just can't see this guy in Real Madrid in a few years, to be honest. He will be playing for a top 10 club in a few years, and that just makes me happy. Um, I do like him. I do rate him. He's a good player. And I have to give credit when credit where credit is due. And this guy deserves it. He's a really good striker. And I really like the partnership between him between him and uh, Deli Alley. It's a really clinical uh, uh, partnership. And I really, really like it. So I think this guy deserves an upgrade from an 84 to an 85. Or maybe even 86. But I don't, th I don't see EA doing that. I just see an 85 rated player. Which would be perfect next we have the next makalele this guy is doing fantastic for chelsea i can't believe he only got an 81 rated um card so i think this is more of a rating cl correction than a uh than a winter upgrade he will get a winter upgrade he's he's doing amazing as always in my opinion but uh, last uh, season he was probably leicester's best player and in fifa 17 he was only given an 81 rated uh, card so I do think he deserves to be upgraded to an 83, maybe even 84. He's such a consistent player. I really like him. And I just think he would he would basically do well in basically any team right now. He would do great in Barcelona. He would do great in Real Madrid. And he's doing great in Chelsea. So hopefully he continues um, this form. And that's why I think he deserves an upgrade to an 83 or even 84. But I don't see that happening. So yeah next we have alexis sanchez in my opinion one of the best players in the premier league and this season he's been phenomenal i think he's one of the top three scorers in the league he has a lot of goals and he's just getting me a lot of points in fantasy league and i do like him he's doing amazing i do think he deserves an upgrade and it's possible that he might get a get a striker card imagine that a striker alexis sanchez that is not that is not informed he would be fantastic in my opinion he would go right into my bpl squad and i do think he deserves an upgrade to an 87 maybe even uh sorry to an 88 maybe even 89 but i don't think it's possible because it's a very high rating so i think 88 is just perfect for him anyways guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like comment down below who also deserves a uh, upgrade i might do a part two so don't forget to comment down below who deserves an upgrade in your opinion and of course guys don't forget to subscribe it does help up uh, it does help out a lot and i hope you have a nice day i'm out